Welcome to this week's episode of Sailing Zephyr. We continue with the never-ending journey from Curacao to Panama. However, it wouldn't be the journey from hell without one last surprise. As soon as we can, we head off to the incredible San Blas Islands. What more could we ask for once we hit paradise? I'm Nat, and this is James. For over two years, we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content, and much more. We are nearly there! Oh my god! This has been the trip from hell. The trip from hell, right? Trip from hell. The journey that never ended. It was meant to be a six day sail at the slowest and it turned out to be six nights, seven days. And uh, we're pretty sure we're gonna make it, but we're not 100% sure. We're sailing right now. We got full main, full heady. And uh, we hoping we can get in. We've got about eight miles to go still. And we are on very little fuel because even though the legends on that cargo ship helped it out yesterday, which was amazing of them, oh my God. Um, I don't know what we would have done without them. And it was just so good that they came out of their way. And you know, I know that they're on a tight schedule and they came out of the way to drop that in and it all went perfectly and they were just so professional. Uh, unfortunately, this current is so strong that it's stronger than the wind. So we've actually been going backwards a lot of the time when we've tried to sail. Yellow flag, that means we're arriving. An ocean, a cave, a dream. Coruscant is officially over. It was one of the best flags we've ever had. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Quarantine. Quarantine. You and I, we got our differences. Well guys, we're moving at a blistering two knots to the anchorage. Um, it's been really, really tricky today, but uh, Nat and I have been sailing when we had some wind and uh, motoring when we didn't have any. And we are just motoring as we came around the corner to get to the anchorage here uh, before we pop the sails back up. And our fuel alarm actually went off, which means I have no idea, it's never gone off before, so we don't know how much fuel we actually have left in the boat. It's been a heck of a journey, I'll tell you what. But, I don't know, like we can see land, we're so close to it, we just want to get to the anchorage. Look at that, there's that log again, it's actually beat us. <laughs> it has to. Oh my god. Anyway, we, yeah, we're traveling pretty slow. Um, but we've decided to switch it off because the alarm's going off and we really don't want to run the engine dry and we need enough to at least drop anchor. Um, once we've dropped anchor, switch off and find out what we have to do here with the PCR, whether they'll do it on a Friday afternoon, I'm not too sure. And then uh, a big feed and sleep is what's on the agenda for today. But yeah, we need to get the dinghy in the water, go over to the marina, find out what's going on. I mean, we want to get that done before chilling out and relaxing, I guess. And yeah, we've lost our wind. 
possibly may not get in. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. We've become so bored that now we're eating these, pretending that they're cigarettes. Not that either of us smokes, but uh, that's what it's come down to. We were also doing it with pretzels <laughs> the other day. <laughs> uh, when we were actually sailing, when we weren't worrying about fuel. I realized um, it took us two days to do 43 miles. Yeah, no. We, as, as the Rome line, it took us two days to do 43 miles. And had that cargo ship not helped us out, we would still be out there for probably another four days, I'd say, because we weren't moving. We were going backwards because of the current. Yeah. Two and a half knot current. <sighs> Man, I'm never, ever making that mistake again. The current is something to take into account, and we normally do. But I don't know what happened this time around, to be honest. Well, I did take it into account. It was just one bad thing after another, after another. So, yeah, they, they always seem to come in threes, as my mum would say. And it definitely did. We have made it. We have literally just dropped the hook and put the tender in the water and we're gonna run in and clear. And I will tell you what, we literally dropped the hook and backed up to let the chain pay out. And as we were doing that, the engine was starting to splutter. So that was it. We took the boat to the limit. Um, Fortunately, we stopped the engine before it sucked in any air. It just started to splutter. Obviously, it was trying to suck diesel through. And uh, yeah, so talk about making it, like all those little sails for 15 minutes to save fuel. Everything added up to us dropping the hook and that was it, so. Incredible, I can't believe that happened to us. Yeah, seven. I, I knew we were gonna be close, but I didn't realize mm. how close we were. Like if we'd gone around the anchorage one more time to pick where we were gonna go, that's it. It would have been a goner. Or we didn't sail that hour and a half where we picked yeah. up that storm. Anything like that, we probably wouldn't have made it. So, no. um, But 700 and I'd say we probably did about 790 miles with all the detours and yeah. floating about in the ocean. And, and it took us seven days. Is that right? And we're so tired. And, we're so, I'm, and it's so humid here. I've just had a cold shower and I'm absolutely dripping sweat already. So we're going to go and clear in. Let's go clear in. PCR and at four. PCR at four, and they're only thirty-one dollars in Panama. Way better than the two hundred and hundreds we've been paying. So yeah, so good. Yeah. So we're gonna go and get that done and um, relax this afternoon. Oh yeah. And really? then we've got to do a three-day quarantine. Yeah, three days. I think we'll start tonight off with some fajitas. I told Nada to cook her some fajitas. And that's it. We're off, guys. All right, guys. Well, we just cleared into Panama. Time to put up the Panama flag. Woo! Time to get rid of the quarantine flag. Whenever we enter a new country and we haven't officially cleared in, we have to put what's called a yellow quarantine flag up. And that stays up on the boat until after we've cleared immigrations and customs. That's it, quarantine flag, gone. Now I just need to make sure I put this Panama flag the right way up. So I think red on the top. Now grab my head. My serene and chest pain. Tell me what's the plan. All right, that's it. Let's raise the flag. Well, good morning, guys. It is quarter past six. We haven't been up this early, except for our passage in a long time. Yeah. So, um, we are off into Portobello to get our first vaccination. That's right. Yes, yeah, so. It's about time we get this done. Yeah. Um, it looks like most countries aren't gonna allow you in unless you have a vaccination. So we need to get it. Yeah. Um, plus, we wanna be protected. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So, so we heard all the horror stories. Some people have dead arms after. Some people feel a bit flu-like. 
we'll just have to see how we go. So we got just a few fingers more. crossed that yeah. we're allowed to get it. <laughs> yeah, we think we've got everything ready and that we're all good. So we'll see how we're we go. We're just waiting for the bus. Yeah. Which we saw going that way from the boat. So mm -hmm. we ran here, um, took the dinghy, then ran so that we didn't miss it coming back this way towards where we want to go. It's like a 15 minute journey, so it's not that far. No. Right. We're just hanging out with the howler monkeys. Yeah, I <laughs> wish you guys could hear them. If we, oh, it's, it sounds like some massive beast. Anyways, uh, we're gonna just get back to waiting here and we'll check in with you guys when we get to the clinic. So tired. Uh, what coffee? Yeah. We head to Portobello, a small historic port north of the district of Colón to get our vaccines. Well guys, that's the Aeronaval next door on our next door neighbors on their boat. Um, they had their dinghy stolen last night. Um, it's been a bit of a eye opener, Panama. I knew that there was a lot of theft and dangerous theft as well. Um, but it's really hitting home now how stuff could happen. And for us, we really cannot afford for that to happen. Either. Good morning. We are off again. Finally, we have left Linton Bay Anchorage Marina and we are heading for San Blas. You about seven and a half, eight hours, 40 miles. We've got current with us this time. So it should be pretty sweet. Here we go. <laughs> it looks so gloomy. It does, doesn't it? Beautiful, but even more beautiful, I'm sure, when the sun's out. Yeah. But, uh... The gloom and gloom and gloom. No, it's still beautiful. That's all reef around us. All those waves. James has spotted some good waves, haven't you? I sure have, man. I want to get some waves. Surf! Yes! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see Neville cutting. Enjoying a coconut in the San Blas Islands. Not a bad spot, hey. <laughs> Up they go. James, what did you buy? We bought a mola. A mola? A mola for my mom for Christmas. So. Yeah. It's really, really, really nice, but boy, they're hard bargainers. Yeah, yeah. I tried every yeah. trick in the book, and I just couldn't get a deal. Unless you buy like, uh, what do you say, like five molas, then he might give you a discount. Yeah, yeah. But um, we noticed that his molas were the nicest out of everyone. Oh yeah. So. And now it's Nat Nemo's turn. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Wow, they do all this by hand and it's just spectacular, it's look great. at that. Well guys, we are finding these San Blas Islands to just be spectacular. I mean, a month feels like it's not going to be enough to explore all these islands. I mean, there's 400 in the chain. I found a star in you, always guiding me. The way to be brought into an island. It's hard to be. It's hard to be this real. We can play our favorite song. Make sure you hit the like button, guys, and please subscribe. It helps us out more than you can possibly imagine, alright? Thank you. Bye. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.